Well, I got my studio set up. Uh, I don't know. I gotta figure out if the lights are gonna be okay. I might have to put one light up on the uh, table with a collapsed uh, uh, stand. But uh, I got uh, this table which had my uh, clay roller here, my pasta machine. I've got uh, backdrops, and now I can. Uh, photograph uh, my work and uh, have a plain background on it. Uh, I've got plenty of room on both sides. I got my clay here and I can turn on the light over the uh, clay and uh, soften it up. These damn swing arm lamps are worthless. I have to put a bungee cord from the support up there of the shelf down to the light so I can keep the light up and far enough to keep the damn clay from melting. But anyway, I rearranged everything. Uh, this was over there, that was over there, this was over there, that was over here. And uh, I like the arrangement better and uh, I like the, the backdrop. I got a foam board for, uh, or cor uh, cork board for mounting pictures on to work from, and I've got to figure out where I can put that. I'd like to be able to use it. I don't want to put it behind him or the clays because it's too close to the color of the clay. All right, uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. It's, uh, I don't know what time it is. It's got to be about 5 o'clock. I've been working on this since 8 o'clock this morning. And as you can see, the light's getting dimmer outside. <laughs> uh. Well, I got done editing the first part of this video and checked you, uh, notifications on my face, uh, on my email, and UPS had delivered the uh, package, but they didn't know. They didn't come to my door. They just dropped it off in a damn car, which I don't mind. It's just been nice to know they got here. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do a box opening. This I ordered this Sunday, and it's Wednesday, and I got it. I mean, and it was just the shipping was free. I'm glad I didn't pay for the extra ship, you know, shipping costs. <laughs> okay, this comes from Colorado, by the way. Go America. And by the way, this knife that I'm using to cut open the box, uh, a friend on Facebook gave this to me. He uh, sent it through the mail. I love this thing. Alright. Better keep the knife handy because I might need it some more. Alright. Okay, these are two bulbs. They're 6,500. 6,500? You know, 6,500 watts safe lights. I wonder what those cost to replace. And this is a uh, tripod, I think. And these are the lights. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to put one together, I think. Unless I get deterred. Great, I got another friggin' box. <laughs> I'm doing this on my bed because I got no big space to do this in. Uh, it's a small house. Anyway, uh, I just wore sheets, that's why it's got no sheets on it. A little too much information, I think. <laughs> Yeah, that's the uh, tripod. Anything else in there? Nope. And... Well, that's a nice tripod. That's not a bad tripod. And there was a guy that was demonstrating how to put this together, and he couldn't figure out how to get the damn light connected to the post because this plastic thing was on it <laughs> and uh, he didn't know that he had to take that off first 
All right, let's open one of these. I hope you can see it. Yeah, you can. Okay. A nice carrying cap. That's the uh, diffuser screen. And uh, there's no instructions. That's what the other guy said. The one thing he found was that they had no instructions. Okay, got it. I'll show you what I'm doing the best I can. This, uh, there's this thing here, collapses the uh, thing and then just press it in towards the center and it spreads out the, uh, the thing. Now, I see why they don't have instructions. It's a damn easy thing to put together. The uh, light. Oh, I gotta cut that. It's a good thing I didn't put my knife away. Well, I moved it. <laughs> Where'd my knife go? Ah, come on. There it is. I like that. That's, that's good and strong, sturdy material, too. I'm liking it already. That's the uh, light, a big mother right there. Boy, oh boy. And I'll put it inside the... Uh, okay. I won't know if it works until I plug it in. down over the uh, rod at the top and that holds it good. Now I'm going to set it. This is going to be the one that's going to be away from a really easy to put together. Before I put the uh, diffuser sheet on, I'm going to see if the light works. I can get this done here. everything better than I got it now, but I'll do that tomorrow. Well, oh, wow. That's okay. Oh, and man. That really does light up this clay. All right. Let's put this on. It's like a fitted sheet. And there's a wide part of the uh, screen 
and a short one. And I'm putting a short one on top. It has Velcro, so you can Velcro it down. And that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, I'm going to set this angle just a little higher. There we go. Let's see if that holds. There we go. All right. Shall we see what it looks like on the clay? Okay, that's just one light. And I'll get the other one set up and we'll see what it looks like on the other one. I get the buffalo in the way. There we go. Now, I've got this uh, plug in here. I'm just darkening up the uh, clay, the uh, picture just a little bit to compensate for the brightness. And uh, let's go see how it looks. It's pretty damn good. I uh, think I might just have one condensant light to give me just a little more shadow, but uh, this fills in all the uh, dark areas that uh, would be videoed. And uh, also, uh, let's see how it works. Let's see. With just one light. This one and turn off this one. Well, that's that's really good pet lighting, though. I'll play with the lights a little bit. I think I can get a better shadow effect on the clay because uh, that's what sculptors do. I mean, we're not and, and see, there's no dark shadows from my hands. It's all diffused light. I'm, I'm liking this. I might put the uh, light back there. Of course, if I do, that might blind me. Let me see what happens. That's quite a bit better. Yeah, I'm liking that. All right, would I recommend uh, these lights? I would. Seventy-six dollars for two of them. They're really they're you know not three hundred dollar tripods and things like that, but damn good for the seventy some odd dollars you pay for them. And uh, I kind of like it. Oh, I got a this light on. Let me get that light off. <sighs> yeah, I'm not unhappy. I like it. And, uh, I don't have any dark shadows that I got a sculpt around and stuff like that. Uh, let me get my magnifiers on. 
Let's see how it looks with my magnifiers on. Whoop, gotta turn my hat around. Yeah, that takes out any uh, dark areas that you can't normally see when you're sculpting. <sighs> Can I recommend these uh, to you guys out there? Certainly I can. Um, it'd be good for drawing, be good for painting, because it's true light, it's not uh, yellow light. I don't know if it's bright enough for painting, I don't know. But 76 bucks, you can't go wrong. Um, it would help with your drawing. I, I know that uh, on the Crocus Cafe, the uh, gentleman uh, that I saw this using this light system uh, uses it for his drawings. And I'll put down below a link to his video so that you can see what I'm talking about. $76 for both lights on Amazon. Um, the, the full name of them is in the video description. Uh, well, not in the video description, it's in my comments area where I made a comment. Um, out of 10, I would rate this about an a 8 and close to a 9. I mean, compared to the spotty lighting from overhead lights that really do, you can't angle because they don't hold their position because these damn folding or these uh, swing arm lamps are worthless nowadays. They don't make them with any kind of strength. So I'm happy and uh, I'll be sculpting as soon as I can see again. Tomorrow I go to see uh, the retina specialist up in uh, Bozeman and uh, Last time I went and saw him, my eyes were screwed up for about four or five days, so I'll try to get back on sculpting next week. All right, for now, I'm just going to turn off the lights and uh, put this video up. Hey, Good night, everybody. I put the uh, tripod on. I also... Put a piece of clay that sticks to the table and keeps that leg from slipping over the edge. Just a little tip that I think I just came up with. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. Alright, see you next time.